Okay, on this little sample I've quilted one row of a panto and I'm going to show you a new feature on this August 2015th update which helps you with realigning. So if we look up at the screen, I've, I've after finishing that row I had set the sequence to stop to cut threads and normally I would just hit the realign button on the page at the, with that is on the screen at the end of that row but I've backed out to the sew quilt page so I can point out what's under the configuration button and I'll bring it forward. Is that okay so we can see? So if I touch the configuration button, these are all the choices now we have on the sew quilt page. This, this is sew quilt configuration. Some of these, tie off end type, tie off length, end point overlap, used to be in preferences. Now they're right here where you can change them on the fly you don't have to think, you don't have to exit out to change them. You can change them at will when you're on the Sew Quilt page. Here we have two new things. We have Quilt Advance Assistance and we have Securing Single Stitch Enabled, SSE Single Stitch. Um, some people find that when IQ stops and it takes a single stitch, it can cause problems. So now you have the opportunity to disable that feature if you find that it creates knots or it breaks your thread when IQ does that final stitch after it stops stitching, you can disable this simply by touching the button and touching the plus or minus. And then IQ will not take that single stitch at the end. I'm going to keep it enabled. Um, so that's a new useful tool. The, uh, the thing I'm going to show you now is this new Quilt Advanced Assistance. I have it enabled. Um, I'm going to hit Finished all the configuration is as I want it finished. Okay, so now I'm going to realign. Here is my button that says Quilt Advance Assistance. I haven't advanced the quilt yet. I need to come here and choose Quilt Advance Assistance or QAA now before I advance the quilt. It's telling me place a tape over the quilt at the desired alignment reference point. Uh, this is great when you have a pattern like I'm stitching, which is spirals. There's no, there's no um, really clear point there to align to. Um, also, you might want to do this with any panto. Uh, so I'm tearing a little bit of uh, masking tape, and I'm going to move my machine out of the way, and I'm going to put this tape on my machine, and I'm going to put it right there. I'm putting it in the middle just because that uh, doesn't move as much as the rest of the quilt. All right, so I've done what it told me. I've put a tape over the quilt at the desired alignment reference point. So I'm going to hit continue. Move the needle over the tape. All right, move the needle over the tape. Doesn't have to be anywhere in relation to the pattern, it just needs to be over that tape. Okay, I've done this. I'm going to hit continue. The machine has taken a stitch, making a hole in the tape. And you also heard the motors lift. Because now my message says, advance the quilt and base the sides if needed. So I'm just going to advance the quilt a little tiny bit. I'll scoot to the other side. All right. I'm not going to base the sides but I would do that, and having the motors raised uh, automatically allow, would allow me to do that. I'm going to pull the thread out. Okay, I need to raise my take-up bar because I can hear it rubbing on the thread the machine. Okay. Okay, I, I advanced the quilt and basted the sides. Continue. It engaged the motors again. Now the message says, move the needle to the hole in the tape which is my reference point. So I'm moving my needle over that hole. Did that, continue. And IQ is moving automatically to the start of the next row. Does a single stitch so I can bring up the thread. Okay, so that's a really good help. If you're confused about realigning, if you're new to IQ and you're not sure about this realign thing, um, Quilt Advanced Assistance takes you through it step by step.